Yom Mabayo. Karibu Nisan, how are you? Fine. Uh, great to see everyone here. Today is a big, big day. Uh, today is the day we launch a movement. Uh, a movement that has uh, taken a while to start. I know you all know the gentleman, the gentleman uh, in front of us. Uh, this is the sound and this is the future of Kenyan music. So I don't want to say much. I'll allow these two great men to introduce themselves and then tell you exactly what we're doing on Friday. Can you, can you say? All right, hey everybody. My name is Ethan, Ethan Muziki. I'm a singer, songwriter, and the merchant of hope. Now, Nico, very excited that you're here with us. We have super great news, Manzayani. Okay. <laughs> Um, set sets me no masana, but yeah, to get a bit more about it. Yeah, um, hi guys, my name is Kinoti. I am a singer, songwriter, entertainment lawyer, and uh, yeah, just just as uh, everyone who's talked before me has said, we are super super excited for what you're about to do on Friday, and I am so glad that you may you may phrase you as a movement because I feel like that's exactly what this is, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's about to be quite quite an interesting end to the year. Yes, yes, yes. So ideally, um, what's happening me on Friday to Kona, one of the biggest shows, Manze to ever grace <laughs> our, our land. Um, we need to have Echoes, City of Love, Itakua, on Friday from 2 p.m. Yeah. Onwards till late. Um, uh, at 12. Yes, yes, so gets open at 12, but the show starts around 2 onwards. I love food. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just us two um, trying to show people the power of collaboration, I guess. Mm. And uh, just this in itself has been a long time coming to Mekot Kipanga, just to do, to do something to show the people how much we can, how much we can do. Mm. And I feel like this, this is exactly what, this is exactly what showcases what that is. And to make what to make what the planning of it has been amazing, and honestly, we we genuinely feel like there's nothing like this that has been done before. Yeah, genuinely, <laughs> actually, a, that's that's exactly what I was saying in the beginning. Like when you to panga the sets, ato uh, <laughs> kuja show it before in the past, ama ukuje in the future. I think this particular one for Friday, ni extremely unique. Mm -hmm. um, because it was in a half I'm actually super glad you need to have a movement, which is like when you on stage, props, and everything is going to happen. Niko nyesha too what collaboration can be and what Kenyan music can actually offer. Yeah. Um, especially, just see, it's going a lot of young, beautiful energy. So, Niko super excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, just to give context on why we called it Echoes. Yeah. Um, when we're on stage, I, the one thing we feel in Akwanga so solid is the ringing out of voices. We see come show to on Akujangapo and experience. We see from from where we see it. People are just singing along to the music the entire time. And if there's one place we know for for sure, what are we doing by Zingoma? Niapa KICC on Friday. So mtu akiweza pande za tao mali atakuwa tu atakuwa anajiuliza watu wanapigia nduru wapi. Yeah. <laughs> and this will be the place. This yeah, yeah. will be exactly where it will be happening. No, it's definitely true. Like unapata anga kuna time tuko show na hata unaweza acha tu kuimbokea mwao wache kuimba. <laughs> unaweza acha tu and wasi wana kuimbia and so you know feel like it's, a, it's such a beautiful echo. And that's the whole idea behind echoes. That if you have time, your your sing along ability, mm. yeah, our songs, it yeah. were extremely clear. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we can open space now for the questions. Yeah. Okay. All right, this question. Oh, thank you so much, Amatena. So, uh, this question particularly goes to Churchill. You know, you are the father of. Coming. I know, you know, because the gestation is from the family, so I'm coming there. So, why music now? Why you know? You support a lot of talents, but you lose the nature of the community. Why music now? Yeah, uh, I beg to correct you on that. Actually, it's all talent. Yes. Because uh, uh, way before this, we've done half the band, Nazi, all the other uh, big, big, big. big uh, Big sound, including sound. Yeah. Uh, the unique thing about 
unique thing about Linda and Kinoti, they remind me of where uh, the real classic Kenyan music began. When we had safari sounds, uh, music that we could export to the rest of the world. I know you know that song of Jambo Buana, uh, uh, the mushrooms, um, and uh, what they're trying to create is a unique sound for Kenya, just like what Oliver Mtukuzi was able to do uh, down in the south. So it's so amazing. And what made me want to be part of what they are doing and uh, give my little support is they've really been ignored by the mainstream media because mainstream media believe there's a certain sound that the radio station or television channel should listen to. Uh, so it's more Afro, more Mapiano, more Bongo. Uh, theirs is so authentic and that's what is exciting. When you saw their performance at Sarit, you saw everybody singing word to word. That means they're already creating their own movement. And uh, it's so exciting, we live in exciting times to see you guys come up with a uh, sound uh, that we can all celebrate and uh, we live in interesting times. So this is the future, this is the movement and it, it just get it started. Yeah, and thanks for also believing in me. <laughs> okay, a question to Ethan and Kimo. Yeah. Last time you saw your show at Sarit, and people were so happy. And you know what, right now we have high expectations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe how ready are you going to come back? And also, yeah. uh, maybe in Kigali, Kenya, you, you believe so much in Chachi. Of course, we have so many people, but you decided to work with Chachi. Why? Thank you. So, we, first of all, luckily we have been performing for the longest time because. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have been performing for the longest time. Um, at a, at a, interestingly, when you do church or misema, uh, direction we take with our music, still particularly chasing anything mainstream, Nikujaribu could create communities. So for us to create communities, we had to play so many shows and, and, and you know, the people to interact now. And so we find uh, already, even before we started planning this show, already kulikuana a lot of hours of experience in terms of playing live. So now when we were thinking about this show, it was what we could just show zetu, unajua. So to tell Patiya Nini, either kau me kama mujai kam, this one is just going to be extremely different. And so even before we announced the show, already we got many rehearsals. Has been like that has been so many hours of rehearsals, overnight rehearsals. I feel like we are we are extremely ready. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd say one thing um, that I love about Churchill, honestly, is is just his purity and his readiness to support. He has been such an instrumental part yeah. in helping us curate this show, and I feel like. We wouldn't have done it this way with anyone else, honestly. Like it was just aligned for it to happen, and that's one one thing I'm super super grateful for it happening. Ilikuatuni, the things that you just say zili 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 kuwa designed to happen, which for us has been quite quite a beautiful journey. Yeah. There's there's someone who said Usang, kama kama miaka saba juu <laughs> we can't wait. <laughs> so these guys need to go out there. It's interesting. When you go to the sponsors and they'll say, uh, but we yeah, we just have to do something special. Then from there, I think after Friday we'll have a very different discussion. It was the same when we were starting comedy. Um it, does, it didn't matter how funny you are, but uh, can, can you talk like more? Because at that time it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And so it was very hard to get gigs back then. Uh, but with time, I mm -hmm. to Diona for sure. It was not easy. <laughs> so we want, to, we want to capture what they have and they are hungry for success. We need to capture that and I'm sure uh, you great people are going to support this initiative. Uh, we play more Kenyan music, we love our own and we push this agenda, we just be specific, deliberate, that we want something, a great sound, uh, to come out of this place, Kenya. And I'm glad these two gentlemen are leading that call. So I hope we're going to get that support. Try to support. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Do it for the next generation.
Are you working as a manager? How many partnerships? No, no, I can't manage them. These guys are big. <laughs> These guys are huge, but uh, I'm just offering my little support in terms of production, advice. Uh, we just get started. Then the rest will they'll figure it out. They'll choose their managers. They'll choose uh, the record label they want to sign up with. Me, uh, you're to the initial push uh, towards the market. Yeah. yeah. So Ethan and I met at a competition um, like three years ago. We were competing for a guitar and uh, he ended up winning. I came in third. So what happened after that, he'd seen some of my performances. I was just starting out in playing music, uh, performing rather. So he saw some of the songs that I performed and he was like, you know what, I think this song would do so good in studio, you should come through and then we record. We recorded the song and then we lost the file. But later on, um, having seen the experience of what that was for me, I was like, you know what, I actually want to do, I, wa I want to record my music. So I hit him up like five, six months later and I was like, I think I want, I, I think I'm ready. And he was like, you know what, let's do it. So from three years ago, we've just been working together, making music when we can, um, just pushing each other. And I'd yeah. say he literally just got me into the game, man. So yeah. Yo, and it's, it's, it's so interesting that you're saying it like that, Ju. I, I feel like the moment Kin and I started working together, Push yake yani the way and the the way and aweka kazi. Nkama it helps to keep my fire burning, you know. Juna joke wa ki patana namtu na pia ako as excited about music as you are. I, you feel like you're not alone in the journey. So thank you, man. Ah, thank Appreciate you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bless yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just to ask because uh, I've seen you quite a number of uh, times performing before. And uh, if I'm not from my stand correctly, The journey for me generally has been very eye-opening. Kuna kuna vitu mingi zeni melan along the way. Kuna so many people yeni me meet along the way. Uh, so apo apo tu neza sema the journey me kwa kwa uh, just isn't that too much into the details. Lakini um, about the second question is about um, uh, South Iso. About South Iso. Huh. Well, I feel like we we. I genuinely, I really love Saudi Soul, obviously, Manze and Ibiko Mifanya for the industry. Uh, but Labda Niju, we are not particularly a band. Yeah. Yeah, so, Ningumu Kusema, we are the next Saudi Soul. But Nafil, we are 
thinking is a very beautiful way for everybody. Yeah. Uh, at least even in Amanisha, we can also create things now from when you know, when you are Yeah. yeah, yeah. To take a standard and you can do like, okay, if that is achievable, what more can we achieve yeah. with the amount of time that they have? Yeah. And pain to pay two goals to Nangaliat, like, okay, or mefika level flani, it's only fair that we surpass that because yeah. it's. It's 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 eye opening for the generation in it to come. So yeah. that ten years down the line, when people look at us, they're like, you know what? Ethan and Kinoti got to a certain point. I think it's about time we surpassed it. Yeah. Just to bring that culture, to bring that, to bring that psych, yeah. yeah. You know, vitu vitu zingine ziyachekuka unachievable. Like yeah. playing stadiums and doing yeah. all these things yeah. that are done around the world. We want to make them happen, and I feel like it's about time yeah. we got to to doing that. Yeah. yeah. The, but the reason why I've said so is because. The journal that you're doing is almost the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you're doing a journal that uh, almost looks the same as South Asia. Now, uh, do you think what well, he, what he come in, and of course they're going to be single at it. Do you think that you know you can give a push to be able to get to the standard that they want? Uh, mm. Oh, I get you. No, genuinely, I um, actually feel like when people will start to talk about like the journey of Kenyan music and I feel Nikama with what we are doing yeah. this is a pivot it a very significant moments of time that people will be talking about and this moment two independent artists anyway we are not even trying to be mainstream filling up stadiums yeah. you know, filling up malls and is in a shutdown about Maizo and one of those things it about KICC. So I feel like to go genuinely in that in that trajectory and in that space already. Yeah. Yeah, what um, like big Kenyan artists are doing. And so I'm I'm happy that to go for your um, space uh, The vision can only grow bigger and I feel like Friday for us is is the beginning of something new. Yeah. Not only for us but for so many people. The the levels to which Kenyan music can the heights to which Kenyan music yeah. can go to it was so clear that by the time tonight back on Friday on yeah. Saturday or Sunday people yeah. will be like you know what we as Kenyan artists can actually do it mm-hmm. yeah and uh, maybe lastly you can't go without uh, me asking this uh, question uh, <laughs> uh, I know it's, it's just a common one was that uh, strange and you that people didn't give you the fact that you, you were expecting Ama as there have been one. And number two, uh you shy to come to put up a first stage when we were talking. <laughs> I feel uh, like okay. for for me is experiences in the core, but way earlier on, um, I think like two years back, I was playing at a show and then um after I did like two songs, actually it's only my friends, like five of them only core. Um and then and then just some few other people, it was at a club per se. And then after playing my first three songs, the person who was MCing a kanyambia ni nyamaze DJ Acheze. So that's that's happened to me honestly. Ili kwa demoralizing but inakupia tu hiyo bidia kusonga. Yeah. Okay, you now. <laughs> yeah man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have to add more to it. It's a quote that we are talking stage is a comedy web. Yeah. 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 So, perhaps if you ask one of your they also uh, work with Saudi so closely. Uh, one thing about life, the only ch- thing that, that never changes, it changes itself. And every generation has its own uh, Joshua. Uh, so, uh, Saudi soul uh, to make one now for that while, and they've done tremendously well for industry and for Africa. And, and they'll always be there. Uh, what I can eat and I cannot hear bringing they are the new Joshua into the future. Just like what's happening in Kobe. And it's a beautiful thing to see this happening in our lifetime. Yeah. Could I any surprise acts on Friday? Of course it's a one man show but I don't want to surprise me with some collaboration that we want to on and not on a friend. Yes, kuna ziko actually ziko kuna song unreleased zenye tuta tutafanyia ka spice hapo na some of them I think around two of them at least in my set are um, people that I'm sure you will love. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> It'll be the Friday I'm good. See how this. Another question is uh, uh, 
this Friday, I've been invited by the other artists uh, to join us. Yes, yes, yes. So at a, exactly, um, Kutakona, already since we have collaborations we released in the past, yeah. some of them will join. And then you to me work on, to me that a few to that go, yeah, that go on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we can just now get to make sure the type of music we can just maybe is it gengeta, is it a piano, am I what type of music? Well, personally, um, me, 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 like a. Yangu naita sway, so ni kama Swahili na na R&B na neo soul. But over time, I feel like the more to nafanya kazi, the more it end like it could define exactly what the music is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. For me, it's 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 also just a fusion of Afro soul yeah. and just R&B. Just trying to quote and quote Africanize it. Just find a way to express ourselves within the R&B and Afro soul space. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. And finish that. Finally, do you know the future, guys? The future is this. The future is you guys. So you take this sound and take it to the rest of the world. Can we do that? Yes. Thank you so much. Spread the word. Thank you so much. All right.